Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the webinar for 2019 to talk about how to register for summer camp in Tenteru 2.0. Uh, my name is Clay Shumway. I am the Assistant Director of Camping responsible for Alpine. Also on the line is uh, Wayne Holmes, who is our Director of Ten Mile River. And Wayne, you're welcome to say hello while I get things going here. Welcome everyone. <coughs> so we're just going to walk you through the process for uh, registering your youth for summer camp. And take it away, Clay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So first thing we're going to do is start with a Cub Scout unit because um, the, the the basic registration process for both a Cub Scout unit and a, a Scouts BSA unit are pretty much exactly the same. Um, so I'm just going to walk you through. And then if you are a Cub Scout person, and I'm done, we can more or less add off and uh, don't need to pay attention to the second half of this, uh, where Wayne is going to run through how to register for mayor back classes and all that sort of stuff. Um, so I am at the login screen for Tenteru, and um, if you don't know how to get to this, it is pretty simple. All you need to do is just go to the Tenteru website, bsa-tnyc.org, and then over here at the top of the login, click login, and it'll take you to that screen. I'm logging into my dummy account um, for PAC 9999 in uh, Aquahunga District, um, but obviously use your own account to, uh, to log in and, and get this started. So I've already created a, a, a week in here and you can see that here, but I'm gonna show you how, if you were gonna add, you haven't done anything yet, how to do that first. Um, so what you would do is over here on the left-hand side, click events, and then all of the events for, um, for the year are right here. You can click all upcoming, or you can just stay on available events. It's pretty much the same list most of the time, unless something happens to be full. Um, you'll scroll down until you find the right thing. Obviously we're doing Cub World, and then you click on that and it'll give you all of the options um, to register. So again, <coughs> excuse me, we are uh, looking at week one here. So I'm just gonna go to the ones we've already registered and uh, there it is. Um, what you would do if you are if you are making a brand new registration is just come, come down once you get to the week one. And uh, well, actually I can go back and show you that. I'll just show you week two. So you would click this register for event button and then it would bring up this screen where you uh, choose the number of spots for Den Chiefs A, A, B, B, Session A Youth, A, B Youth, B Youth, and uh, Session A Adult, A, B Adult, B Adult. Um, so you would choose all those things, uh, click Next, and then uh, move on from there. Uh, but so once you've done that, um, it, the, the last screen will take you to um, basically this right here. And, and it's a, you know, the, the minimum amount that you have to pay is $200, which we've already done because we've paid our hold of place for this year. Um, I will show you in a minute how to check out. So we'll go over that. But, uh, but yeah, this is, this is basically where you would come if you've already made a hold of place. If you're not sure how to do this, you can always absolutely call our council office. Um, Marcel Grant is the one who handles that. Her number is 212-651. 3073 and she will happily walk you through that process even if you do this on your own i would still call reach out to marcel because she needs to um, assign you a site uh, you cannot do that on your own we have to do that for you so e either way you do it you can either call marcel or do it on your own but um, once you get the hold of place in now we're going now we're moving forward and i'm walking you through it so as i said if you if you've created the thing and you you need to update numbers all you need to do is come down to this registration and click manage spots. Uh, and it brings up this screen where again, it's very similar to where it was before. Right now we have two AB youth uh, and two AB adults, but let's say we have another kid that's uh, gonna come as a session A youth and his dad is gonna come as a session A adult and we need to add that. Um, so then you would, then you would uh, click next and go to the next spot, next screen. It will give you a, uh, a summary of all the spots that you have, and then the total event fees um, for the number of spots that you signed up for. So the total is twelve seventy five. Again, we've already paid two hundred dollars. That's our hold a place deposit, and so we have a balance of thousand seventy five. At this point, you can um, choose to uh, pay some money. And if you are looking at toward the end of the month, where the thirty first, where the uh, campership deposits are due, individual deposits are due, you would obviously need to pay. Um, the $40 per scout. So we have three scouts on here. So you would click pay other amount and three times 40 is 120. And uh, and then click complete. That does not check you out. It just adds it to the cart. So if you come up to this right-hand corner here, you see the cart with the one on it. 
Um, that is where it is showing that there's something in the card, but again, you have not yet checked out. Uh, so <clears throat> if you want to check out, you can either click there or you can click this check out button. And then it brings you to this screen um, where you uh, can put in your payment method here, either a credit card or an e-check. Uh, either way, we do need an address. If, if, you are, if, the, if you are paying with a credit card, which most people do, and the uh, billing address is the same as the address on the profile, you can click this copy profile address. I don't have one in here right now for this, for this account, but you can click this copy profile address and it will come up. If you're using a personal credit card, make sure that this is your address. The, um, the, it will not go through if you do not have your, the correct zip code um, associated. And then you would just um, fill out your card information, the card number, the three, digit, the three or four digit code, depending on the type of card, and then the expiration month and year, and click place order down here on the bottom. Pretty simple, pretty easy. You would then get an email with a receipt um, that would look like, uh, no, it would not be there, sorry. <laughs> um, that would look, hold on, I'll get to it. Uh, it would look like this. Um, and, uh, and, that, and that is your receipt for your payment. So obviously, again, I did not go through with that one, so you didn't, I didn't get that automatically. But again, if you, if you were going through the full process, you would get a receipt like this in an email. Um, and again, you can do exactly what I just did to, to come and find it again, and that's from your home screen. Come over here to view previous orders, and here are all the orders for all the things that I've ever done. You click on the one you're looking for and click that generate receipt. That'll get your receipt so that if you need to be reimbursed by your, by your unit, you can hand it to them and, uh, and get a check. <clears throat> so uh, other things that you need to know um, in, in, this, uh, in this system, in this process, is once you have all of your spots in, and uh, we need to know names of, of folks. So the way to do that is to come down here to where it says add participant. So obviously we haven't added any den chiefs, so it says add spots. This is if you come down and you go, okay, I need to add five kids and you see, oh wait, I only have two spots. Oh, I can add more just by clicking on that button and not have to scroll all the way back up to the top and do it that way. But um, for, for sake of ease, we're gonna say add participant and then we're in here. So I already have four participants in here, but I'm gonna show you how to add a new one in case you have someone that is not listed in this, in this list. If it is someone that's listed in the list, all you do is pick is you, uh, you, you, you click on them and it'll give you an option to update the, um, well, I'll show you real quick. It gives you an op option to update all of their information. So their name, their date of birth, their gender, uh, and then their contact info. So if they've moved and you need to change their address, um, or obviously if they've moved up a rank, um, and if there's any serious allergies or dietary restrictions, you can change all of that here. Um, then you click next. You'll check, you'll check what type of spot. So again, at Cub World, because we have session A, session A, B, session B, you'll need to um, <clears throat> designate which one uh, this youth is. Well, Ryan is a uh, session A, B, and then we will move forward and click complete. Now that adds that to your cart. So now if you wanna see what's in your cart, you can always click this, this, this in the uh, upper right-hand corner and it shows you. So see, we've added Ryan Ross as a session A, B youth. Um, so let me show you how to add a brand new person. Um, it's pretty similar, but we'll go, we'll go with it anyway. And, and also, as you see, when we come back to the screen, now Ryan is not listed in here. So you obviously cannot put someone in twice unless you type their name in twice. So please, if you are a unit that comes every year, make sure that the, that the scout that you're entering is not already listed because it just keeps your registrations cleaner. It keeps, especially at, um, at, at uh, Scouts BSA camp at 10 Mile River, um, it keeps their uh, merit badge registrations all under the same person and it's much easier to, um, to manage. So anyway, so we're gonna click new youth and we're gonna say, okay, so this, this scout's name is Jimmy Alpha. Oh, sorry, that's middle initial. Alpha, I can't type. Um, they were born in 2011. Nail. We're going to allow photography because we like to take pictures all through camp and throw it up on our Facebook page or um, use it in our um, <clears throat> our marketing. So if if that is something that you don't want, please make sure you check that off. And also when you check into camp, please let us know that. That way we we are aware of it and can um, and can um, and, and can be and and can try to not have him in our in our uh, 
him, him or her in, in our photos. Uh, so anyway, so then e email is optional. The phone number is not. We absolutely need a phone number. So we're going to use, use Alpine's phone number. Yes. And then we're going to type all that in. And then because he is uh, 2011, that would make him a, uh, a bear. And he, uh, he does no serious allergies or dietary restrictions, so we'll leave that blank. And his emergency contact is me. Again, all of the things that I'm filling out are there are a bunch of astronaut engineers for the first thing. Um, please let us know that, but they are not required to finish the registration. So you'll click next, just like before, and he's coming for an AB session, just like before, and then you complete. Um, really quick, um, if you're doing an adult, it's basically the same um, format. The only difference is that we need a youth protection date. Um, so in here, you got to make sure that their youth protection date is the current one. Again, everyone, because you know this is me, and I'm I do this for a living. Uh, everyone has to have a youth protection date um, on uh, since the new um, youth protection has come into effect, uh, which would have been uh, in at the, at the latest in October. So pretty much everybody who's been chartered will have an, a youth protection date that, that was at least before October 1st of 2018. Um, but just double check that and make sure that those dates are correct. It'll make your check-in process go smoother when you get to camp. Um, but again, just double check info, make sure everything's good. If you want someone added to our email list, please do make sure that they have their email in here. Um, a lot of our a lot of our units will put only just one email for the entire pack or the entire troop. And then obviously we only get the email to one person. So please make sure they get their email. It's the way we collect information and get things moving. All right, and then it's exactly the same process. You click next, choose what type of participant they are, next again, and complete. So now all of that has been added to the cart and uh, I can go check out and uh, finish this up. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna run this through um, because it's a dummy unit, but again, you put in your credit card information and your billing address and finish it up. And that is pretty much it for Cub World. Um, if you guys do have any questions, you are welcome to reach out to me at any time. Um, <clears throat> and if you, uh, or, or, or to Marcel, she can certainly help you out in the office. But uh, at this point, I'm going to turn off my computer and, and pass it over to Wayne so he can show you a little bit of the, uh, the mayor badge registration. And since I'm going horse anyway. So thanks, guys. Um, and again, if you have questions, please, please feel free to reach out. So awesome. Thank you very much, Clay. Yep, no problem. <coughs> I'm just going to get my screen shared here, everyone, so you can see uh, what we're looking at. Um, I also have a, a dummy unit in here that we're going to use. Uh, it's Troop 2085, so I'm logged in here. Uh, just like as Clay logged in when you saw with the Cub Pack he was using, same, works the same way for Scouts BSA. Uh, so we're going to go through a little bit of the registration and then get to Merit Badge registration so you can all see how that process works. Um, so I'm going to click here on home. As you see, this uh, unit has already paid their hold a place for week one 2019 in Aquahunga. Uh, so when they click home, when you click on my events, uh, it will list all of your events that are available here, all upcoming events are here, and events you're registered for here. Um, so as Clay showed you guys to how to register for an event, uh, this troop has already been registered and paid their hold a place deposit so that we can just click right here into uh, week one in Aquahunga. Uh, and shows you what you have available. So it shows you what your balance is, and then if you wanted to make any payments, this is where you would do that. Uh, you could pay another amount if you wanted to pay for a few more youth, or you want to pay the $40 deposits that are due at the end of March. You can put that in there and make those payments. Um, this troop has five youth spots and two adult spots ready to go. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to uh, to add spots here so you can click and add or subtract spots for youth and same for adults down here uh, and that works exactly the same way you kind of click and say you're adding one and, and do that and then the 
to for merit badge registration, what you want to do is click this um, you want to find your week right here and you want to be able to add merit badge registration so you can find your The next button was hidden there. Sorry about that. So that's what you were looking to do. Click the complete. And then it puts that information in your cart. So I added that. And you're going to want to go and check out. Um, we'll go back to our home screen. Uh, and then to begin the uh, merit badge registration process, you need to go to your uh, list of youth names. Wait, scroll down and click add participant. Uh, that's where you start. Sorry. sorry. Right there. Sorry, everybody. Um, so that's the, the that new participant button that I just clicked on gets you to your list of youth names. Um, and then you can we're gonna add a scout since Clay already showed you guys how to add a name. We're gonna go right to the merit badge process of registering a scout for a merit badge. So you're gonna click on the name, you're gonna confirm that information is correct from last year because he brought this scout last year. Uh, all of his or her information would be listed here. Make sure contact information is correct. Make sure uh, if there have been any serious allergies or dietary restrictions that would be updated from didn't exist last year, you'd want to update that. And then emergency contact information. Uh, you then click the next button down here at the bottom right. Um, and they're going to fill one of these youth spots. So you click that little radio button there to fill a youth spot. Click next. And then that brings you to the merit badge registration portion. Uh, this lists all of the available merit badges alphabetically by time of day. So as you'll see, archery at 9 a.m. is listed first, um, and then it kind of goes through the rest of the day. So in order to register the scout, you would click this add class button. So this scout wants to take automotive maintenance at 9 a.m. So you click add class there. It then eliminates all of the classes that he would be unable to fill. Uh, 9 a.m., uh, the automotive maintenance class fills time blocks one and two. So that's the 1 a.m., one the 9 a.m. and the 10 a.m. class periods it takes up. It then is just showing us the 11 o'clock periods. Uh, it also, you have the ability, instead of having to scroll through this large list of classes, you have the availability to search. So you can click this search um, button here and type in the name of a merit badge class. So he wants to take camping at 11 a.m. I typed in camp there, and you can click add class. Uh, and then, so and you can delete that search out of there, and it'll show you everything else that's available. So it shows we have a 9 and 10, an 11, and then scroll down, see what else is available. He wants to take basketry at 2 o'clock, and those are all the courses that he wants, that this scout wants to take. Um, in the back of the leader's guide, there is a worksheet that helps you guys do this. So it'll let, give you an area for each of your scouts to fill out what is their first choice for every time block and what is their second choice for every time block. So when you are going through and doing this registration process for each scout, It'll give you a, a one sheet piece of paper for every scout to be able to register for their merit badge classes. Um, this schedule in the system matches everything that is printed in the leader's guide and on our website for the daily program schedules. So you can use that as your guide to see what is available when, and then when you're ready to register, come in here. So once you've chosen all the classes that you want a scout to take, they will show up over here on the right hand side, give you a little summary. If you want to remove one, you would just click this remove button and it would take it out. It would then open that slot for you to have something else to be able to register for. Click this next button here in the bottom, and then it shows you a confirmation. So scout's name, any fees that are due, and uh, then you would click this complete button. It puts it in your cart. Uh, anything that you're doing merit badge wise has to be checked out of the cart in order for it to take effect. Um, and you don't have to go check out every single scout all individually. You can do this for the five or 10 scouts that you're bringing or all the scouts that you're bringing all at the same time. Go out and check out in your cart once. Uh, so once you have everything listed, it'll show you a summary in here of the youth. 
the merit badges that he's registered for, and then click the checkout button, and takes you to your cart. See everything listed there. Any monies being transferred, uh, and being that we're not adding any money for this youth, and uh, nothing we're doing uh, has a cost to it, you just click the place order button. You will get a receipt emailed to you. You can also view the receipt right here. So this is what you would get emailed to you, and you can see kind of list the scout and then all of his classes. If you're registering a, a bunch of scouts all at the same time, it would break this down, and you'd have each scout's name listed and all the merit badges that you're registering them for. Uh, so that's how merit badge class registration works. It works exactly the same for every scout you're doing. So each time you add a scout, you would do that same process. Uh, whether you're adding a new scout or um, using a scout that is already listed in the system, and then make just make sure you're checking out when you're done. Um, so that's the the Scouts BSA merit badge registration part of the system. Um, and I think at that point we've covered everything we needed to, Clay. Right? Yeah. Wait, uh, one more thing. Can you show them how to pull up the full invoice and also their um, roster? Most definitely. Um, so yeah. you want to uh, click on your home button over here. Click on your uh, manage my group. So this is going to show you a list here uh, on this screen. If you want to get a, a nice PDF that you can print out, um, you want to click on this home button. Sorry, click on the home button, click on the manage profile. And I'm in the wrong spot. Go to the um, the event itself. Yep. Uh, so our events. Click on uh, your event and click on the event we're registered for. This reports button right here gives you a bunch of different things that you can run. Uh, your invoice, which would show you how much money you have uh, have due. I'll show you what that one looks like. Um, it kind of gives you a breakdown by youth, by adult and then all the payments that you've made for this unit in the past. Um, and then the same place for your roster. Um, so your participant roster right here, this is what we'll use when you come check in to camp to make sure that you have everyone registered that you're supposed to and we know that we know everyone you have registered. So as you register scouts and leaders, they will show up on this list. And this is what we use sitting at registration for you guys when you check in. Um, and then some other useful reports listed here that you guys can use are the class schedule by person and the class schedule uh, specifically for the merit badge registrations. If you download this report, it will give you uh, every scout on a different page. So it lists the scout name right here, your unit, and then all the classes that that scout is registered for. So this is really useful at camp. Um, so you know where every scout is at every moment of the day. You guys can, pr can print these out before you come. You can just download the PDF and have it saved so you guys can access it at camp as well. Um, that was everything, right, Clay? Yeah, I, th I think we're good at this point. Um, so awesome. thank you, guys. Um, we really appreciate you coming to camp. And again, if you have any questions at all, please reach out to either myself or Wayne. And um, yeah, we'll be happy to help you. So cool. thanks. We'll, thank you, we'll everyone. See you at camp. Thanks for being on. Bye-bye. Right,